October 28th. Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. John 21, 17. Dear reader, this is his own solemn declaration of himself. I, the Lord, search the heart. Can you open all your heart to him? Can you admit him within its most secret places? Are you willing to have no concealments? Are you willing that he should search and prove it? Oh, be honest with God. Keep nothing back. Tell him all that you detect within you. He loves the full, honest disclosure. He delights in this confiding surrender of the whole heart. Are you honest in your desires that he might sanctify your heart and subdue all its iniquity? Then confess all to him. Tell him all. You would not conceal from your physician a single symptom of your disease. You would not hide any part of the wound. But you would, anxious for a complete cure. Disclose to him all. Be you as honest with the great physician, the physician of your soul. It is true. He knows your case. It is true. He anticipates every want, yet he will have and delights in having his child approach him with a full and honest disclosure. Let David's example encourage you. I acknowledge my sin unto you, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. And while the heart is thus pouring itself out in a full and minute confession, let the eye of faith be fixed on Christ. It is only in this posture that the soul shall be kept from despondency. Faith must rest itself upon the atoning blood. And oh, in this posture, fully and freely, beloved reader, may you pour out your heart to God. Disclosures you dare not make to your tenderest friend, you may make to him. Sins you would not confess, corruption you would not acknowledge as existing within you. You are privileged thus, looking into Jesus, to pour into the ear of your Father and God. And oh, how the heart will become unburdened, and the conscience purified, and peace and joy flow into the soul by this opening of the heart to God. Try it, dear reader. Let no consciousness of guilt keep you back. Let no unbelieving suggestion of Satan that such confessions are inappropriate for the ear of God restrain you. Come at once. Come now to your Father's feet and bringing in your hands the precious blood of Christ make a full and free disclosure. Thus from the attribute of Christ's omniscience may a humble believer extract much consolation at all times permitted to appeal to it and say with Peter, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you.